Today's cocktail is a controversy brought to you by snacks, wine, and snacks. <laughs> well, first of all, Thanks you don't need to do that. Miss Tony, go ahead and take it away. Your channel and, and, and let your guests sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> comment on the first cocktails and controversy yes. from a viewer so thank you very much for her your suggestion but thanks Shout for all the yes. suggestions and comments great comments guys good for y'all keep mm -hmm. it coming she yeah. had um an idea for us to talk about which was so basically um she knows a friend mm -hmm. who has been married for a few years and has always had a very healthy sexual relationship with her husband mm -hmm. They've had no problems. He's physically able and healthy. Okay. But a few years into the marriage, all of a sudden, it's like the door slams shut and Lock she can get no play. Nice. She has suggested um, you counseling. Know, counseling if it's maybe an emotional issue, but he's turned that down. Trying and to spice it up as well. She's tried that? Yeah, she's tried you know, spicing up that mm -hmm. route. She's tried... Um, you know, medical, like see if it's actually something physically wrong with him, but he's perfectly healthy, happy, they still have a great relationship, except in that area. And her question was, when how long do you keep trying? Like, mm -hmm. at what point do you say, all right, thanks, but uh, I need to get mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like sex is an important part in a relationship. Absolutely. I feel like if it wasn't there to begin with, then it would be normal. normal. It would be normal. Right. right, yeah, but the problem with this situation is that the expectation was already set. That's right. And then all of a sudden it's changed. Well, there's the normal, at the beginning you're all like rabbits, everybody's, you know, right. for hours and whatever. And of course it weans off, love becomes more stronger than lust, and you get a nice flow, you're supposed to at least. Mm -hmm. But if it totally cuts off, well, there's a problem, right? Yeah, there's definitely a problem there. That's not normal. So, so you think that? Exactly. Well, I don't know if it's I not think, normal. No, I don't. I think it's not normal. How can you be married to somebody? Yeah. Obviously, living in the same place. Obviously, sharing the same bed every night. Everything like that. Your woman is advancing herself onto you, and you're just kind of like, yeah, maybe. Like, no, maybe that doesn't make sense. Maybe one of his life where he's like, you know what? I where just... he doesn't want to have sex. But you are responsible. It's in the your contract. Partner. What contract. You can I'm make you sure that my contract. <laughs> If because for of lack that. of sex, your wife leaves you, your husband leaves you, but you can. Yeah. Are of you being really you serious? Of course so you, you actually can. can. Ugh. You didn't know that. <laughs> no. Of course you can. But the thing about it, if you're in a relationship with somebody, chances are you want them to be happy in every aspect of, of your relationship, relationship, right? So even if, let's say, I'm not in the mood, or as a guy, I something's wrong down there, I can't get it up. There's other stuff you can do. Exactly. Right? To please your partner. Absolutely. It's not always about you, especially when it comes to marriage, right? Right. So I feel like he's in the wrong. I think he's in the wrong. He's too. absolutely in the wrong. And yeah. it's not even but, sexual, okay. though, because imagine how she feels. Like, imagine, like, yes. oh my your gosh, husband her self-esteem self yeah, self is probably low. Like, that's not I, fair. I, know, just, yeah, I would yeah, feel so bad. bad. I think that's yeah. where a, a relationship, you can't have cheating in a relationship if you don't, if the door is not open. Now, I think this has the door open this mm. wide because if you're not feeling desired by your partner, you're, you're going to go, go look, look for, it the, for it elsewhere, right? The minute somebody shows some oh, sort of... It's that, then yeah. it's going to be really bad. It's over. But her question Am is... Am I the only person that thinks this is ridiculous? Okay, okay. 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 How do you feel? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Explain. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Explain yourself. Okay, okay. you're mine. <laughs> hey, okay. We don't know, like, how long... Um, like this problem has been right. going on. That's right. So I mean, like as I said, there's certain times in your life where, whether it's like physical, not really anything like detrimentally wrong with you, mm -hmm. but physical, emotional, whatever. Like you just don't. Just like you're not in that space you're at that time. The... So does that make me like a bad person? And like, okay, well, I'm gonna get divorced. Is like. Well, but how right. long do you? Do but you, do you, you think, don't know. Do you think you have a some form of responsibility? 
for meeting your partner's sexual needs. Yeah. You're bleeding. That's the point of the relationship. <laughs> She's like, She's like, She's like, That's the point of relationship. It's, it's to please your partner. You guys have to do this mutual but thing. People, it's for each other. No, at the end of the day, they were having sex before. Talk. It's exactly. about a sexual attraction. They were having sex before. You would be you'd best, be best friends. friends or you'd be sisters. Exactly. You'd be a cuss. But yeah, 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 like I totally understand that. But also, I'm saying, at a, after a while or at a certain point in your life, yeah. You're just not really interested. You're not into it. Okay, so let's but say that happens, right? Sex. But you, you don't, don't have, have to do. You don't have to. And have sex. I There's hate other people options. always well, say no. that. Oh, okay. You still have to please, please. them. Yeah, you still yeah. Have to please them. But let's say that that's true, and um, you know he's at this space where for some reason he's just lost total interest in sex. Does that you into this? Would you not? Um, <laughs> yes, I think you have. Speak to your wife about that, or would you just leave her in the dark? Exactly. Um, if they were in that phase that you're talking about, where it's like, oh, I'm at a different place. It's just whatever the case is. You, you guys can have that it. conversation Absolutely. and come up with solutions, and she wouldn't be feeling any way. She wouldn't keep trying. So you guys mm-hmm. would have a mutual understanding. Yeah, but okay, we're assuming that she's not leaving out details. How do we know that they didn't have the conversation? She we just don't didn't really like know what the full story. We don't, she heard, we don't right? know the full story. These are all conclusions. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you've given them the expectation that, first of all, you're sexually active. Mm-hmm. Secondly, that you want to have sex and you enjoy it, both for your satis- mutual satisfaction. Yeah, at that point in time. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. It's like. No, it's I just, feel like you're no, fraud. Like you, no, you're you can't say something. that. It's the same thing as, like, I'm okay, you're dating someone, mm-hmm. right? And then a year later, six months later, like, you know what? I'm not really feeling the person. I'm not saying that. She's saying, or they're not feeling their mm-hmm. wife or husband or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, feelings change, things change, people change. Yeah. Like, you can't well, not then, plan right. because well, then like, get you know out the relationship. That's no? like, okay. Yeah. So bye. <laughs> 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 no, it's so, hard yeah. because she's like, okay, we go to counseling. Like, where I cut it, or I'm done. And if he's like, you know what? It's not How important enough for me. How long do you wait for what to go to, to counseling to decide to either or to go to counseling? Yeah. Say I'll give you six weeks to get your backside in the couch and go speak to a shrink or else I'm bouncing. If it's really so that six weeks. Okay, so then he goes to counseling mm-hmm. and then the counselor says yes, it's important to maintain some kind of emotional, physical contact. Yeah, if he's not feeling it, then you gotta leave him. What and then he doesn't, it doesn't change, so then... Then, bye. Okay, let me throw a curveball at you. <laughs> so, um, same scenario, obviously, right? And let's, let's take your viewpoint where, honestly, He's just at a different stage in his life, mm. and sex is not really on his radar. It's not a number one <laughs> priority to him, right? right. And um, he doesn't want to go to counseling because nothing's emotionally wrong with him. Right. He doesn't want to go to the doctor because nothing's not physically, physically wrong, wrong with him. Should he give his wife the option or the okay, the pass, to... Should he get a whole pass? Fuck no! <laughs> Go out of your way to, you know, to please her, so and you're just saying, you just totally yeah. say, you know, but what? when unless somebody else like in your said, relationship, that part then there's no relationship there, no way. Right? Mm-hmm. It's not that anything else has passed. He still loves her. They still have, let's say, kids. They still have a home together. They still have a life together. They still have mutual friends, mm-hmm. activities, and they everything still like each other, the right? They still like each other, but he's just not. I drop a thing and say, okay, fine. You want your past under these conditions? Go. I what don't want to go. I don't oh. want to know What's about it. What are the conditions? There has to be at least five layers of protection. If you ever bring any conditions or Rizzy, it's a Rizzy. It's a Rizzy. It's a Sorry, it's a wrap. Like, be smart about it. Do you know what I mean? Right. And I don't want to know when. Don't bring really? it up. Really? There's still a responsibility. I don't like that word responsibility. <laughs> Isn't like, there a responsibility? There's a responsibility. I don't like that word though. It just feels so. I was watching Family Guy. I was well. watching Family Guy, <laughs> and um, the wife, um, she's all busy and she's trying to do things. He says a joke, which he said for the last ten years, and she always laughs at it, and she just doesn't laugh at it. And then he's like, "Oh, you know, I work at the CIA," and she's like, "Yeah, whatever." And all the things that used to impress her, and then he meets somebody that laughs at all. That laughs at his jokes. That says, "Oh my God, you're a CIA. That's so amazing." And and fast forward. Then her mother says, 
what? I've been married for 30 years. He's told the same jokes all the time. And I laugh because it makes him feel good. So you have to do things in relationships that make them feel good. Otherwise, be single. What's the exactly. point of being with somebody? There's like so many different options. Same topic It's one episode. Oh, I know. Look, same time. You guys are talking about the Thank sex you. thing, or the yeah. guys want to bang your wife? Yes. That's what he doesn't want to bang his wife. That's not. Yeah. Well, when you put it that way, right? Like, <laughs> so it sounds rude. so bad. Why so don't you want to bang your wife? Why don't you want to? What, what is, is wrong with you? What 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 if they become somehow mm -hmm. unappealing to you that way, mm -hmm. and you can no longer perform? Then honestly, I think it's your responsibility to tell them. Listen. When I met you, you were blonde. Now you're a brunette. I do, I like blondes. So one hundred percent. Absolutely. Tell them. So I'm actually blonde. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, if I met you as a blonde, and that's, that's what right. I was attracted to, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, five years in, you decide to dye your hair brown, and, right. you're and I'm just not it. into brunettes. Exactly. That's right. If you're in love with your brown, for example, it can't be that. That means that you don't really love that person. No, that's not. That's not. Because the, so whatever I'm they're attracted to yeah. in the beginning of no, the relationship, you have an obligation to keep it up. Oh, oh, there's that word. Uh, you so just have a problem it, with the word. Yeah. It, okay. The responsibility, no. obligation. Of course, if you meet somebody who's funny, not even funny, something in the beginning, this is what you fell in love with. I you hear, said, I like your hair long. I like your eyes brown. I like you 150 pounds. That's a song, sorry, go ahead. But you still want to, it goes back to wanting to please your partner. Yeah. I might, um, I love jeans. Jeans are my favorite thing to wear in life. It's my uniform, likes me in dresses. Once in a while, I'm gonna put on a fucking dress. It's not exactly. that big a deal. A is it, my life is not die a man. That is it, right? Tony I don't want someone telling me I gotta put on a dress. Nobody's telling you about that. You should want to do that. You should want to do that. What if I don't want it? Well, then why are you with the person? Wait, wait, wait. Let me just explain to you. Once in a while, you bend. Once in a while, you have to be flexible. Once in a while. You're like this. You know what? You might be like this. You might. You know what? Tonight, I want to get some. You know what? I'm gonna put on that dress. Exactly. Exactly. You think I like beards? <laughs> beards. Nobody cares about your stupid beards. <laughs> people have to conform to Nadine. Nadine doesn't conform to people. There you go. Preach, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but how's that working out for you? Shit. No, I'm not in between this here. Right? Oh, I had throw bowls. I'm covered. I'm covered. We're not throwing bowls, but really, how is it working out for you? She's like, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're not? I could take you five times. <laughs> and fight. Like, what do you guys want? Do you, do you think that maybe the guy still likes having sex, but it's just a little bit too much work to have it with his wife? Shit, what does that mean? Yeah. Maybe she's a bitch? Yes, with yourself. <laughs> oh. No.